Tell us something about the current situation on the ground. As we know, since August the 5th, owing to the communication clampdown, nothing clear is coming out of the Occupy Valley. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, you know, uh, as you rightly pointed out, that since uh, August 5th, the unprecedented, uh, you know, suspension of internet services, uh, which continued for over seven months, and now they have reduced it to 2G service to, you know, um, even during a pandemic when people are sitting at homes and they need to, you know, watch the videos by WHO uh, to, you know, uh, to kill time. But they still have, uh, you know, now extended the ban for the fifth time uh, until 15th April, uh, and they are uh, doing a review after every two weeks. So, but what has been more threatening is uh, even when the world is battling this COVID pandemic, the Indian government, Ministry of Home Affairs, came up with a new domicile order, domicile law, which actually uh, threatens the very demographics and the existence of uh, the native Kashmiris and the permanent residents of Jammu and Kashmir. And it's for the first time that people in Jammu have also raised alarm and raised their voice against the new domicile order. And then they tweaked it a little bit, but it still, uh, you know, allows Indian citizens to get uh, domicile certificates and then compete for jobs and land and buy property. So it is a direct attack which people perceive on the, uh, you know, very existence of Kashmiris. And the dominant perception is that the RSS and the BJP are going ahead with their political Hindutva project to change the demography in Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, one more thing about the aged and caged uh, of Kashmiris, we have right now 76-year-old president of the Jammu and Kashmir High Court Bar Association, who has an impeccable record in, you know, as a lawyer, who is languishing in Indian jail since last eight months, and he's surviving on a lone kidney. He's a heart patient, and he has had multiple surgeries. So another 73-year-old Gulam Muhammad Hubi, Dr. Hubi, he also, you know, is languishing in jails. And there are many, many dozens more who are, like, uh, about 70-year-old. Uh, they have been not, you know, they have been shifted to outside jails in uh, outside Kashmir.